Eurasia Foundation is an institution builder, an online innovator, and an incubator of good ideas. One idea that endured through the darkest days of the Cold War and is vital once again is keeping personal and professional channels open between Americans and citizens of Eurasia. Eurasia Foundation's Sarah Carey program builds connections among young people from around the world who have a professional interest in Eurasia. I've been in Moscow, I'm headed to Astana next, um, and I really wanted to get a sense of what people are thinking about and writing about in this region. I wanted to meet other folks interested in the region, but also passionate about the same issues that I'm passionate about. Most likely, many of them are going to end up in high um, policy making or positions or other positions that are going to be affecting the region profoundly. So it's great to sort of get to know people early on. Sarah Carey Award recipient Drew Guff has affected Russia profoundly. In at the creation of Russia's private equity market, Drew invested in businesses that have generated prosperity in Russia and American communities amid political ups and downs. A good, healthy commercial relationship can act as something of a shock absorber. It can help uh, even out some of the uh, wild political oscillations that you'll have inevitably. And I think Drew was uniquely placed starting in the 1990s when things opened up to make it possible for a real foundation to be built for a market economy, which is probably the soundest foundation that Russia has right now. In addition to being an astute businessman and working with nonprofits, Drew has a lifelong fascination with the people, history, and culture of Russia. He is the driving force behind a new initiative to translate major works by Nobel laureate Alexander Solzhenitsyn for the first time into English, in partnership with the Woodrow Wilson Center's Kennan Institute. Drew is dedicating his award to that initiative. I think that reading uh, any work of art uh, and, and the Red Wheel, uh, even though it's very historical, is a work of art. Absolutely brings people closer um, because it puts you there in the spot. To some degree, I think my father lived all these years that he lived uh, in, in Vermont. He, in a sense, was living in St. Petersburg in 1917, in Petrograd in 1917. Um, and when I read The Red Wheel, I'm transported there. That's what I emotionally feel, and any reader the same way. So uh, yes, having s simply that act of opening the book and reading it in, a, in the language accessible to you, I think absolutely makes you as a person, as a reader and as a person, closer to the place that you read. It transports you. Um, and that's really ultimately the wonderful value uh, of the Solzhenitsyn Initiative and of uh, this great thing that, uh, that Drew started. I will echo the words said before that if we as Americans are to make wise policy concerning Russia, we need to do more than just grapple with politics or security issues of the day. We need a fundamental understanding of Russian history and Russian culture. As doors are slamming closed very audibly down these corridors of U.S.-Russia relations, whether it's business, politics, security, people to people, um, that means that other doors by definition have to be opening. And it's people like Drew uh, and it's organizations like the Eurasia Foundation and the Kennan Institute that are going to be opening those doors. When governments are at odds, personal connections and business relations are especially important. Sometimes they can trump politics. For his lifelong commitment to bringing Americans and the people of Eurasia closer together through business, culture, and nonprofit leadership, Eurasia Foundation is proud to present the 2015 Sarah Carey Award to Drew Guff. <laughs>